Why is there software in absolutely everything these days? I mean, really, it's almost like we're living in Matrix. The Matrix is everywhere. It is all around us. I mean, think about it. Before, we could repair our own cars. Now, we need a PhD in astrophysics and work at NASA in order to do so. Well, not to that point. So, why are companies embedding software in absolutely everything these days? There are four reasons for that. First of all, software helps make systems more efficient. So, for example, in automotive, since 2004, fuel economy has increased in the United States by 30%. And yet, the size of the vehicle has not been reduced, the weight is about the same, and the horsepower actually went up. So, how was that achieved? Through the use of technology. And a lot of that technology, like hybridization or better uh, conventional uh, engines, are powered by software. Also, software helps make things cheaper. Changing code is cheap relatively to changing the hardware, and a single chip design can literally power dozens upon dozens of applications. You don't need to customize the hardware anymore. Same thing for the computers. A single computer can run dozens upon dozens of different applications. You don't never need to change your hardware. Software may also help make things sturdier, because whenever you replace a mechanical system with an electrical one, there's fewer moving parts, and that means less wear and tear. Software can also make things better. Just think about your cell phone. It's a camera, an agenda, a phone, all embedded into something pretty small and thin. Not possible without software. Now, there are drawbacks, of course. One of them is that it becomes a lot more complex. Trust me, code can be quite complex, and it can be quite easy to trip it. The more they overthink the plumbing, the easier it is to stop up the drain. Anybody that experienced a computer crash, like all of us, know exactly what I'm talking about. Now, the good news is that we know how to improve software quality and code quality. It's not rocket science, and in the next video, I'm going to explain to you what these techniques are.